morning happy friday so the problem with cutting the collar off of your tagless t-shirts is that you end up not knowing which side is front and back because the tagless part ends up fading away at some point so to solve that problem i put a safety pin can open it without stabbing myself would be great. Okay. A safety pin on the front. Like wherever. Why a safety pin? Well, it serves two purposes. Number one, you can tell which side is your front is the front of your shirt. Number two, you have a safety pin for whenever you need it. I cannot get, I can't do this one handed. There, safety pin. Now, 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 a while back, many years ago, um, and still today, but many years ago, people were being attacked because they thought, it's like somebody thought that they were a terrorist or um, gay or whatever. Someone was afraid of that person. They had a phobia against that person and they would attack that person who was doing nothing at all. They were doing nothing wrong, they weren't doing anything. So, people started wearing safety pins. Some people would decorate safety pin, whatever. Which meant that that person was safe and um, you could sit with them or do whatever with them without fear of being hurt, being uh, martyred or whatever. So, you know, do that. And, the people who were like, everybody needs a safe place, are now saying, we need a safe place. It's ironic, isn't it? It is. It's ironic. Anyway, I gotta get off this toilet and go to work. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Excuse me while I choke on whatever that was. I... And behind on work. But I will be taking my lunch because we are a union, so I have to take lunch at least. So I'll take my lunch. Let me do my hair. So just clean out my tub, but not like super good. I'm gonna show you really quick what it looks what the water looks like. And that's after rinsing it once. It's a little bit um my drain is plugged, clogged, whatever. A little bit so I will need to fix that the Adreno the drainer the unpluggy thing for the drain is um, up where I can't reach it at the moment and I don't have time <clears throat> I gotta pee meow hello kitty you've been in here all day all day yes hello scratch 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 Guess what? It's St. Patty's Day. Guess what else? We're gonna go out. Who's we? No, not you. Sorry, it's just me. Yes, hi. It's me and Russ. Russ and me and me and Russ. Us two people. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go to his first place that he likes to go. And then we'll figure it out from there. Which means I need to get dress. Yeah, meow. You're so loud. Why are you so loud? Should I pick you up? Ooh, you let me pick you up? Ow. There. See, I got you. I got you. Do you want to be held or not? Scratch, scratch, scratch. You're licking your claws. Got me. Right in the chest. We're gonna go upstairs, okay? Yes, let's go upstairs. Are you kitty? Look, that's 
you. Oh, you want to get down? Ow. You have to let go. My shirt. I'm going to get you a scratching post. Well, I'm trying to help. Urgh, there. Jeez Louise. Now go. Did she bleed me? She got me somewhere. Okay. I'm not bleeding. All's okay. We're okay. I'm not bleeding. Alright. Now, I gotta find something to wear. So let's find something to wear. Okay. This is what I've decided to wear. Um, yeah. It'll work. I have this on. These are my boobs that look weird, I guess. Then, my leggings. <clears throat> eh, this looks interesting. It's different. It's different, I guess. I don't know. Is it? It's not flattering. I'm not going for flattering. I'm going for comfort. <coughs> Excuse me. Back is off. That's for sure. Let's see if I pull it down. It's different. It's, uh, it's all right, I guess. I don't know. The top, it's the, it's this. I don't like this. It's this whole, I don't know what top to wear with this thing. That's the problem. Is it supposed to be just this tank top, tank top t-shirt? Am I supposed to wear some other kind of top? Maybe? Because this is the only green t-shirt I own. I want to go to Walmart and buy a different one. Maybe we can do that real quick. I don't know what time Russ is going to get done being ready to go. It's only like, it's not even 7, so it's super early. Um, I'm going to eat something because, you know, don't drink on an empty stomach. It's not good for you. It's not good for anybody. Russ better eat something too. All right, shoes. All right. I've got my Champion shoes on. Remember when Champion was like the cheap brand? That's how old these are. Back when Champion was cheap. So here's my Champion shoes. <clears throat> they got the green laces with the green symbol and the green sole. Oh, I can't stand up right. Here, see. Green. Um, yeah. I think I look comfortable. I pro probably could just do without this dress part. And I think that I would look fine. Maybe Russ will take me to Walmart and I will get a different green top. That's what I really want, is a different green top. So I get a different green top... And then I can just wear like a giant green top that goes down to like here or wherever and just be really comfortable. I think that's what I would like to do. So Russ better take me to Walmart. I changed my aesthetic completely. Well, not completely. I still have the same pants and the same shoes on. So, but I put on this sweatshirt. I forgot I had this old ass American Eagle sweatshirt that I got when I was 24, 23, 22. I don't know how old I was. 22 probably. Anyway, I was, no, it was, I was, yeah, I think I was 22. So I'm 40 now. So, you know, 18 years old. This shirt is 18 years old, but <clears throat> it still fits me. It's comfortable. It's long enough, and I look like I stepped out of the 90s. If I had, like, Uggs on, I would look like that, but I don't. 
I will have, I'm just going to be very comfortable. Just nice, comfortable. I love it. Where is that stupid hair thingy? There it is. I found the stupid hair thingy. That's this. I'll need it for later when I put my hair up. Whenever I do that. So, this smells old. It smells like, it smells like American Eagle when it's like old. Um, so, let's put on some spray. Let's use a green one, because why not? It's clear, but, oh, that's not green. This one, oh no, go away, go. Oh, this one, oh, this one, yes. It's called White Citrus. Why is it called that? I don't know. Has a citrusy smell? What is a white citrus? It's not very strong smelling, so that's why I sprayed a lot. I haven't worn it in a while. Look how much is left. Bath and Body Works, I'm telling you, has sometimes good stuff. Oh no. Let me fix this. <laughs> what do you call a fake stone? Shamrock. I decided I don't want to go back outside because it is cold. If it were uh, 20 degrees warmer, I would be great with going outside. But it is not 20 degrees warmer. It is cold. So I'm going to stay inside in my nice, toasty, warm house and I'm going to enjoy a glass of white Zinfandel. Why do they call it white but it's like pink? It's definitely a sipping wine. I think that one's probably better room temp. I'm not sure. I'm not a wine connoisseur but there are some things that I like. Zinfandel's it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it is good. Uh, I like more of a wet, it's a, it's a wet wine and it's mildly sweet. It's not overly powerful. So if you don't like, uh, like a Moscato, let's say if you like a white, a wet wine, but not too sweet, I would recommend a Zinfandel. Yeah. So there's that. If you like a wet, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Wine <coughs> that is sweet. A sweet and wet wine. That's a Moscato for sure. Uh, Prosecco is sweet and wet, but it's also bubbly. So if you don't want the bubbles, get a Moscato. Otherwise, get a Prosecco. If you like that, it's a little bit, it might be a little bit drier than a, than a, um, What was I just talking about? Moscato. Anyway, I am not a, what do they call the wine connoisseur people? They taste the wine, they're like, <laughs> they do that with the wine. And they're like, oh, it tastes of notes of whatever is in the wine. What are those people called? I don't remember. Anyway, the wine people, I'm not, I like wine. I'm not a wine snob, that's for sure. Anyways, I am signing off for the night. Enjoy my glass of wine and probably watch something ridiculous. So I'll talk to you tomorrow, which will be Saturday. I hope you had a great day. Happy St. Paddy's Day if you're Irish. And if you're not, happy St. Paddy's Day anyway because we celebrate just to be celebrating. Love you, bye. Toodles.